everyone, my name is Dustin. Welcome back again to the FT5. I'm making a whole bunch of videos this week. It's awesome. I'm like, I'm feeling inspired to make stuff. And anyway, um, this may look weird. This is a mod that I just did. I'll make a video about that in a little bit. I'm also uh, back to using this as a 3D printer, not CNC. Um, but I also have dual end stop um, mod, which I'll make a video about because I think it's awesome. Um, I've had issues to where the bed, one side will kind of fall a little bit. If the printer's off, uh, the side will just kind of fall with gravity. So when you go to print again, nothing's level and bad. Doing it this way, it automatically will level both sides perfectly, and it's perfectly flat every time. I don't need to have any sort of auto leveling or BL touch or anything. Just pretty much levels everything, and it's awesome. So the main point of this video is actually, uh, everyone, say it with me. Facebook! I need to learn to turn off my freaking sound on my computer when I make videos. Anyway, um, the main point of this video, as I was taking these off, the main point of this video um, is actually, uh, it's a little tip again about this uh, slider. So, I made the first video about the screws up here that you need to countersink. Improves the sliding of the Y. I then made a video about the screws right here on the slider. Loosening those improves everything. Improves the sliding. However, that between those two, most people's issues will be solved. That's great. The thing is, some people may think they still have issues. And this is what I want to point out. So I did those... And I've never had, I haven't had any sort of skipping issues on the Y or anything like that. If you're not having any sort of skipping uh, issues on the Y axis, you're not having any trouble. As long as your driver's tuned correctly and there's no skipping, you don't have, you're not having any slider issues. What a lot of people will do is the printer's off or not moving or anything, and they'll move the Y back and forth. And sometimes it slides nice and quietly. Like if you're sliding it slow. But listen if I slide this fast. Hear this noise here? That's, see, you can kind of hear it there and it's it kind of goes in and out. Um, but that's something that a lot of people will say, oh, well, I'm pushing this and it, it moves smoothly, but I can hear that noise like it's binding or something like that. You know, even on mine, you can sometimes hear it. Other times it works fine. Um, but here's the thing. For one, I never hear it during printing. Never hear it. And I'll tell you why. That noise is actually caused, it's got something to do with the motors and the sliders, but it's actually caused by electrical interference. And this is why. When you were, if you're using the normal Y-axis wiring, your Y motors are spliced together. Um, and the Y motors are spliced together in my configuration. Um, so because of that, your motors are electrically wired. Watch what happens if I unplug the motor connectors from both motors. And you can try this at home if you want. Just go and unplug the both Y motors. Just take the motor connector directly out of it. Go. Go, go do it. I'll do it too. Go. I'll wait. Just, just, you know, I'll do it too. I'll be right back. Now, if you've done what I did, you've unplugged the Y motors. Now move your, your, your Y axis. Super low resistance. There's no noise whatsoever. It feels amazing. Like this is this this feels like it should. Like blah blah blah. Oh my god, this feels amazing. Yeah. When you remove the electrical wiring, the electrical interference that they're causing is gone. Um, the stepper motors, even if they're spinning slowly, develop a lot of voltage. Like they backfeed voltage, just like it. You know, a generator is. You spin a motor, it makes electricity, or you put electricity in a motor, it spins. Works both ways. Same with these steppers. Put voltage in, they spin. If you spin, they put out voltage. I'm not an electrical engineer, but the fact that these are wired together, I think, or at least that they're connected means that when you are sliding this back and forth and they're not powered, they're generating some sort of electricity. And because they're wired together, they're kind of interfering with each other a little bit. Um, and you can kind of see this with any axis, even like the X axis, um, there's, you know, it's a little difficult to move. If you just unplug the motor, you can feel, here look. It's got some resistance, but not a whole lot. 
But as soon as I go in here and I unplug, as soon as I go in there and unplug the, the x-axis, all of a sudden it slides like a freaking Vaselined up naked person down a slip and slide or something. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. So the motors themselves cause a lot of the resistance that you're feeling. So I just want you guys to know, this is, this, this, I'm not showing you anything new, I'm just saying, when you feel resistance in your axes, it's not because there's an issue, it's because the motors are working. So the easiest way to try it is to unplug the motor so it's not connected to the board or anything, and move it back and forth. That's all you really have to do, and if it feels super smooth then, you know you're doing fine, there's nothing wrong with the slider, there's nothing wrong with that axis, it's just that's the way it is. So, that's all I was going to say. So now you guys know, hopefully this clarifies some information about anything. Like I said, I'm not an, I'm not an electrical engineer, I just kind of didn't know, tried it, now I know, and now I'm explaining it to you. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is. Um, hope this video helped some people out there, and if it did, like! Um, comment if you're one of those people who want to comment, because I'm sure you can teach me a lot more than I know about this subject. And um, yeah, until then, until the next video, I'll see y'all later.